Autodesk Max Design 2011 now offers a new Autodesk Material Library, enabling materials to be exchanged with other supporting Autodesk applications such as AutoCAD, Inventor, and Revit, ensuring a consistent definition and rendering look. This library offers a variety of more than 1,200 physically accurate material templates that will simplify your scene setup. The Autodesk Material Library is located directly in your Material and Map Browser, divided into different categories. You will find most of the materials for your need. With the new ability to view most 3ds Max design texture maps and material in the viewport, it will be easy to adjust your scene in a high-fidelity interactive display environment without the constant need to re-render. Here I have turned my viewport hardware shading and already I have a good idea of the lighting of this scene. Let's start applying some Autodesk Material Library to see how simple and accurate it is. From my Material Editor, I will browse to a red brick material and load it. While asking to display the material in the viewport, I can easily adjust the scaling of the texture to match my scene. You will find a few textures and material settings easy to use and understand and also close to real life decision you would make when installing brick on your project. Settings such as color, finish, size and position. Next, I will apply a paint color to my window frame and adjust its color to match what I'm looking for. I can pick a color from my scene or enter a numeric value. Then adjust the glossiness setting and I am good to go. I have access to a wide variety of wood and will apply a red birch on my garage door. I need to adjust the scaling of the texture to match my project and the rest of the setting I will leave to default. Looking at the stone category for my driveway, I notice there is two subcategories with a selection of granite and marbles. Because of the viewport display of material, I can make interactive decisions in a context that more closely match the final output and avoid losing time rendering to see the result. For the driveway edge, I will try this limestone which I am not certain of the effect. Let's finish applying materials to my house before I make a final decision. I have access to different grass and ground covering that I will apply. To finalize the look of my house, I will apply exposed aggregate concrete on the entry pavement and roof shingle. Now that I can see the overall look of my house, it is easy for me to go back to the driveway edge and apply a different stone to match more closely what I am looking for. I will place a row of grey brick and adjust the size and position of it to match the pattern I am looking for. You will notice that if I render this scene, the render output will closely match what I can see in the viewport. Because of the high fidelity of the viewport display, I can make interactive decisions in a context that more closely matches the final output, helping reduce errors and enhance the creative storytelling process. You can see here, in a variety of scenes, the fidelity of viewport in action. The combination of Autodesk Material Library and viewport display will help you eliminate the need to rework materials and constantly re-render to see results. It will be easy for you to get creative with more than 1200 materials templates and interactive viewport display.